Hello everyone and welcome to an early look at the latest and greatest Monster Hunter Generations coming to the Nintendo 3DS on July 15th. My name is Yuri Araujo and I'm joined today here by Tim Turi. Hey Yuri, how's it going? Alright. Today we wanted to show you some of the new features and one of the new monsters in Monster Hunter Generations, the electrifying Astalos of the Fated Four. And what better way to do that than showing you the full hunt? Hey, maybe after this hunt there will only be the Fated Three. Oh yeah, let's do it. So yeah, we're going to be fighting him here at the uh, Verdant Hills and uh, a quick lineup of the roster here. We have Meryl with the guild style light bow gun. Uh, you, Tim, what do you have got there? That's me coming in there with the, uh, with the hammer and the aerial style because I just want to constantly be dunking on Astalos from the air. That is a pretty good approach for this guy. He's got a lot of pretty grounded attacks, but he can also fly, so uh, keep him in check there. I've got the uh, Adept style uh, Sword and Shield. And uh, we have a uh, Rose with the Striker style Greatsword. Oh man, look at that. You see, you just gotta break his back with the hammer, jump on there, and uh, show him who's boss. That's right. In this game, once a person is mounted, everybody else can actually chip in and uh, help with the uh, that blue meter right there. If you keep attacking, it'll actually help the person who's mounted it. Yeah, thanks for the assist. No problem. I think uh, Meryl did a lot of the work there. You gotta go straight for the head with the hammer every single time. Yeah, you're looking to build that KO damage. Now, of course, uh, Astalus is angry. I'm using here one of the new things in the Sword and Shield. You saw me there wipe uh, the blade with uh, which is now the Affinity Oil. Uh, it's going to have a slight red glow, and uh, my chances for critical hits increase. Yeah, let's see how you do. There you go. You see the white sparkles. Very nice. Rose coming in for the charge. Wow, that, that was a nice uh, swing. Speaking of charges, uh, the Astalos with uh, its electricity will charge up its wings, head, or tail, and uh, making it way more deadly than it should be. So uh, if you target those areas, it'll knock him back and reset some of his damage potential there. I see you just did that too. Yeah, trying to just clobber it in the head as much as possible. Uh, God, those huge wingspan swipes are they can almost clear the entire zone they certainly feel like it and they get way more deadly now that they're charged and boom the, the adept dodge right there saving me in the last second nice great pillars of lightning they are so hard to predict the pattern sometimes it's like they split into two every time and it's, it can be quite painful Ooh, Meryl trying to line up the perfect shot. And gets punished for it. She should have just gone for it. Oh, there we go. We get some revenge here, starting with uh, Rose uh, unleashing the uh, ground slash hunter arc. But look at you get in there. Oh, man, yeah. That was the uh, Shoryugeki, where I do a huge uppercut. Does a lot of impact damage, too, so uh, it helps out with uh, all your hammer strikes there. I'm just going to jump around all over the place and not really do anything. Oh, you see here uh, what Meryl just did, uh, a couple of uh, paralysis shots, and now line up her uh, hunter arts right here. Ooh, Rose got caught in the line of fire a little bit, but it's okay. Shot still made it through. Let's see if I can help. Oh, nice. Asos is getting real upset. Oh, he is. Now, did you just shoot that lightning straight out of his tail? He did. Uh, yeah, that tail is uh, pretty deadly, especially when it's charged up like that. Uh, not only will it shoot these lightning beams, they do clear the entire, almost the entire area, it feels like. But if he's flying, he can also pinch you with them and uh, paralyze you for a second. Oof. Oh, time to set up a trap. See if he takes the bait. Oh, right into it. Time for those big hits. Well earned. It's, it's party time. It's like a pinata. Everybody's got to get in there. 
That's a good way to put it. Oh, yeah, he's been waiting to strike back. Got to heal up after that big hit, man. Nice to having a range attacker to get some parting shots there as Asylos flies away. Yeah, let's cut ahead a little bit. He does fly around a little bit, so we got to catch up with him here. Not a very warm welcome, I'd say. No, we got him cornered here. Uh, backs against the cliff. Got some collateral damage getting caught up in there. Poor Aptanoth. Meryl again with the uh, crag shots. These uh, stick to the enemy for a second and then they explode, which is, uh, yeah, it's quite powerful. Oh, here we go, charging up. I think it's looking good. Will it connect? There it is. You oh, again. take it. You're going again for those aerial strikes. Very good, very good. Adept dodge. One nice more. Timing. Oh. Can't win them all. Yeah, it's almost like he predicted that. We got another trap going on here. Uh oh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, that was close. Let's see if it works. Well, if it doesn't, we just gotta lure him back on the other yeah. side. Everyone forms up. We did good damage last time. Yeah. Oh, ho hole in one. Wow. Again here, everybody goes in for the hit. If you hit too much though, your weapon will lose some of its power and this is uh, indicated uh, by its sharpness. It's because you attack so fast. Yeah, fast striking weapons do tend to lose sharpness more often, but uh, you can always regain that with the whetstone. So now a Astalos drooling and limping. Uh, I think I might know where where he's heading. Yeah, that's uh, that's not looking good for him there. We skip ahead a little more, and we see him in his nest. Uh, he's sleeping now in an attempt to regain some health, but uh, his alarm clock's about to go off. Oof. Okay, that'll do it. And there you have it. The monster is down, and the hunters reap the spoils. Nice. Now everyone can go back to town and create rad new Astalos equipment. If you want to see what those look like, follow us on Instagram at Monster Hunter Game, where we'll be uploading photos of all sorts of cool Monster Hunter Generations art, including a look at some of the new gear you can make based on the Astalos and other monsters. Once again, Monster Hunter Generations will be available on the Nintendo 3DS on July 15th. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to tune in next time for a hunt against the mighty Gamoth. Thanks for watching, everybody.